Uh, Josh Fobbett, uh, how did you find conditions out there and what's it like coming up against the quality of the attack? Uh, it's always nice to come up against Australia. Best, probably the well, best team in the world on paper. So, um, yeah, to face an opposition like that and to score some runs was nice. The pitch was, was pretty pretty decent to bat on. Um, coming in at 63 for five, just wanted to kind of consolidate with Haji. And, and yeah, it was it was nice, a bit challenging at times, but um, yeah, it was. It had the, the periods where it was a little bit easier and a little, a little less challenging. And they gave you plenty of short stuff. Did you have to change your philosophy a bit from Adelaide? Oh yeah, expected. I knew after the two uh, getting out bump out twice in Adelaide, I knew they were going to come with a lot. So put on a chest pad this time and <laughs> and decided to, to duck from a few and just ride a few. But um, yeah, had to change it for sure. Um, we've seen players change it mid-season, so uh, it wasn't going well. So I needed to change the philosophy, and and thankfully it worked a little bit. What was the um, conversations that you and Kavim had when you came out after lunch? You seemed to have quite good intent straight away. Was that what you wanted to do, put some pressure back on Australia? Uh, obviously, the, the opportunity was there to score and just wanted to play some positive cricket. Um, I just told them as I got out there, back yourself. Whatever you do, just give 100%. Um, nobody's going to fault you if you, if you just just doing your best. So for me, it was just about going out there, playing my game, and, and when the opportunity presents itself, score some runs. Josh, you must feel like you've got the team right in the contest now feel like you're right there? Yeah, um, it was a pretty crucial partnership between Hodgie and myself. Um, yeah, would have liked to finish the day a bit better. Maybe one of us got 100 or both of us in that case, but um, wasn't meant to be today. And yeah, we just, um, nobody would have expected, I'm sure, at, at 63 for five when I came in that we'd be 266. Um, so that's 200 plus runs at uh, three wickets for the rest of the day. So I'm um, pretty, pretty happy. I feel like you know, the Aussies are under pressure now uh, with that sort of total. It's a total that your bowls, bowls so well in Adelaide. Yeah, definitely. Um, runs on your board and, and ha having them to feel for a whole day is tiring, of course. So even though it's day night cricket, this this um, the earlier sessions were really hot. So to keep them out there was was nice, and to have them come back tomorrow and bowl again uh, and have to strap up their boots is really really solid for us. Did you sense conditions changed as the pink ball got a bit older? Was it a bit easier in the afternoon session? Um, yeah, um, to be fair, when the twilight came, it started to move a little bit more. Pat had a few coming back at Hodge, he left well, but um, yeah, <coughs> it was it was a bit challenging at times, but uh, it was for me, it was a bit surprising. and It was, didn't do as much as it normally does at the night time. Josh, that was, in some regards, a very traditional kind of bouncy gather deck, one that was very common in the 80s and 90s. Is it fair to say some of your teammates probably aren't used to a pitch like that, aren't used to conditions like that? Um, yeah, we, we don't really much have much like this in the Caribbean. So coming here and playing on these pitches, it's experience. And uh, most of us don't don't have that experience. Only a few of us were here um, on the last tour. Um, but yeah, having the experience just to play on these kind of pitches and. And yeah, it's, it's, it was nice to, to have the boys out there and Hodge as well. He was, he's been in Australia many years ago, and for him to come and do well was nice. What was the messaging to the batting group after Adelaide? Clearly, you want to come here and win these test matches, but if that's not possible, I guess you want to improve with each time you you go out there. So, what were the sort of things that Craig and the senior player and you're one of those senior players? What were you talking about between test matches? We just want to show that we can fight, show that we can put a, a foot forward. Um, we may not win all, or we might not start like that, but at least we can show people that we're here to fight and we're here to play cricket. Um, and even against one of the best teams in the world, look, we showed some fight today, we showed fight in Adelaide with the ball. Um, but yeah, it's about just showing people that West Indies, we're still here and we want to show people that we, are, we deserve to be here. How much do you get out of playing, I guess, in front of the sorts of crowds that you saw in Adelaide and today where there's a decent turnout and a good sort of atmosphere as it goes into the night? <laughs> yeah, it's probably a thousand times more than you'll get in the Caribbean. So um, playing test cricket in front of 20, 30,000 people, um, we don't get to do it very often and it's a privilege to play in front of the Aussie fans. Um, so they're very nice, they have no hostility at all. So all, they just want to see good cricket, and which is nice. So when you do well, they're clapping you and they're just, they're just supporting the cricket, which is nice. Do you think Shamar and the pace attack will really enjoy bowling on this tomorrow? Yeah, of course. Um, the, the pink ball, it, it does funny stuff. It might not have done much today, but it does funny stuff at times. Um, just depends on the conditions. The weather could be a little colder. You never know what could happen. So, um, yeah, going on the form at Shema, Azai, Rochi, everybody's bowled well. Um, in, and now we have Sinclair coming into the team, which is very exciting. And uh, I have very high hopes for him. So, yeah, excited to see the bowling group um, whenever they get the chance tomorrow to do well. And just on your partnership with Hodge, uh, he's new into the team. Yeah. What's he like to bat with? Um, very easy, I would say. Uh, not much, not much being said. A very, very um, 
not much words coming out of Fauci, so I do a bit with the talk and a bit of a joke. So you could see I, I dropped one to the groin there and then he hit me with the bat. And it was pretty, it's a bit of a joke, so, um, but does it quietly. Um, I love batting with Fauci. We had some great partnerships. We did it in the, the um, practice game in Karen Rolton, and it was nice for us to do it again here today.